Hi, welcome to another edition of the Alan Rosenberg Show. So I think I've done close to 300 videos, but I've never done an unboxing, uh, and I'm going to do one. Uh, so let's continue with the Stones Hackney Diamonds. Um, my last video a couple days ago, I did the review. Uh, thank you for watching it. If you haven't watched it, check it out. Uh, but thank you for the really great responses and your opinions. I really appreciate it. So let's talk a little Hackney Diamonds. You know I love the album. It's more than I would have hoped for. I think it's great, but check out my, re my review for that. Um, uh, congratulations to the Stones. So uh, the album is doing very well worldwide. We're going to talk about the U.S. in a little bit. Uh, it's number one in six... Well, it's number one in a whole bunch of countries. Uh, I know it's number one in the U.K., in fact, it outsold the top five other albums combined, which is pretty great. Uh, in the UK, it sold over 72,000 copies, which is really great. Uh, so it's number one in the UK. It's their 11th number one studio release. It's their 14th number one album in the UK overall. Um, I think uh, when I saw the article, it said Robbie Williams had... 14 number ones as well. I don't even know who Robbie Williams is. And the Beatles, I think, have 16. So uh, pretty impressive uh, numbers for the Stones. It's number one in the UK, Germany, France, Holland, Japan, Australia, Ireland, and a bunch of other ones. Now, the U.S., a little bit of a different story. I'm actually really disappointed. I was praying... The Stones would have a number one U.S. album again. They haven't had one since 1981 with Tattoo You. If any album should have done it, it was this one. They've done an incredible job of publicizing this thing, you know, with the Jimmy Fallon show over in Hackney back in whenever that was. And then the Angry video and single Sweet Sounds of Heaven with Lady Gaga. Um, appearing on the Jimmy Fallon show, uh, Ronnie Wood, Keith Richards, Mick, Mick did a little bit of a thing, uh, the live show in the city, and on top of all of that, 642 variations of the album. I'm exaggerating, but uh, you, you get the point. I mean, if any Stones album would have came in at number one, this should have been it in the U.S., and it doesn't look like it's even, I think, maybe might finish top five. In fact, the Blink-182 reformed and, and they sold more, which is really disheartening to me. Now, I'm wondering if it's the distribution because they spent a billion dollars promoting this thing and somehow the distribution, at least in America, really fell apart. So I ordered this album, pre-ordered it on Amazon, the regular CD, this one, and then I pre-ordered the unboxing, which is the deluxe edition from the Stones themselves, right? So the album came out a week ago, last Friday. The CD from Amazon didn't show up Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. The CD, here it is, actually showed up Wednesday, two days ago. I mean, come on. I mean, what is that all? And that's Amazon. So uh, I didn't want to wait I'm on Long Island, New York. There's a ton of record stores. None of the record stores had it on Friday. None of them had it on Saturday. One of the local record stores got uh, the CDs and vinyl on Sunday, and I went and said, the hell with the Amazon one that was pre-ordered. I went and bought the original, the regular CD on Sunday. Today, here it is. I think this is it. It's the only thing I've ordered, so it must be. Uh, this is the deluxe edition. So I don't know if the sales numbers were hurt because people couldn't get the album. Um, I don't know. So it's, it's kind of disheartening. I was really hoping the Stones would have a number one in America. And it's not going to happen. But congratulations worldwide. I guess this new, the United States is no longer, I guess, the Stones' biggest market anymore, at least for sales of records, which is kind of a bummer. Anyway, let's go live. Let's talk about a good thing. I'm going to do an unboxing. I'm assuming this is the Deluxe Edition. Now, I have not seen any other videos with the Deluxe Edition. I want to be surprised. So I have no idea what this is, except I know it has a CD and a Blu-ray, and it's the Deluxe. So nice packaging. Let's open this sucker up. Uh, let's see if you can see. And it's just... Well, it's a pretty big box. 
but when I open it up, there's a smaller box, so it's not as not as big as I think I thought it was going to be. I was thinking it might be as big as, you know, like these, you know, like like the, the Tattoo You, the Gotetsu, uh, these Keith Richard boxes. I was thinking maybe it would be that big, but apparently it's looking like this big. Uh, UMG supply chain made in the Czech Republic. So maybe that's why it took so long. I don't know. Uh, let's open this up and see what this is all about, but it's not as big as I thought. It's pretty pricey. What the hell was the price on this thing? I don't know, 60 something dollars maybe? All right, well, this is definitely it. Let's turn it around. So this is it. Uh, all right, not that big. Rolling Stones. Hackney Diamonds, Polydor. Uh, oh, so the cover, if you look at it there, it's got a little movement. Looks like the hand with the knife is moving a little bit. So they call this a lenticular cover, right? The first original studio album since 2005 includes Angry, Sweet Sounds of Heaven. We know that. We already have the regular version, right? So uh, let's... Uh, Open this thing up and see what's deluxe about this thing. All right. Never did one of these unboxings, so uh, hope you enjoy it. All right, so I'm going to leave the cellophane on. There's the hype sticker right there. And it opens on the side. And I'm taking it out. So this outer thing is really just a slipcase. Not much in there. This is what's in there. So let's put this over here, try to make this video a little fancy. There you go, David, there's the first collapse. All right, so what we got on the cover is this thing. So this is hard, doesn't move. Here's the back of it. And you open it up, oh, okay. So it comes with a bumper sticker. Don't get angry with me. That's cute. That's nice, like that. Let's put that over here. It's got a couple of cards, three cards. And so that's a, you know, a card like that. The album cover. And I guess the new Hackney Diamond Stones logo. And then the third one is a Finch, uh, clenched fist making some Hackney Diamonds. So these are the three that come with it. Put the sticker there. We'll put that over here. How's that sound? All right. And then we got, this is still that same thing. Oh, all right. So it opens up. This is where those three cards were and the bumper sticker. And this is the hole inside, so I'm assuming this is the regular CD. And this must be the Atmos uh, Blu-ray. And the Atmos Blu-ray, same track listing. No bonus tracks from what I can tell. And no inner sleeve, it's just uh, loose. Uh, for this price, I could have stuck this thing it's funny, you can see like the printing of Hackney Diamonds right through the thing. That's weird. All right, uh, so that's the Blu-ray, it goes like that, which then goes in this thing, like that. That's the whole thing. And then it's got the three cards in the middle with the bumper sticker. So that's uh, what makes it deluxe, I guess. Um, all right. Uh, just drop that. We'll stick that like that. What else do we got? Well, we got a book. All right, so this this is kind of cool. This is a decent sized book. It's glossy. It's not a hard cover. There's the back. There's the front. And Rolling Stones. Let's see what you got. Acne Diamonds. I guess this is like the story of it. There's Mick quote. Uh, there's a Keith quote. Can you see this? Okay. Yeah. And there's Ronnie. 
and looks like a bunch of black and white pictures. Up oh, the songs, you get a song by song. I, I like that. When they do song by songs, I really think that's good. So that's a good thing. So more pictures, and we got the lyrics, which came with the CD. And then some more pictures. All right, it's a nice book. You know, it's okay. Nice book. Um, got the bumper sticker. That was funny. I always think, like, if you're my age, like I'm 60, so you remember back in the day when you used to buy, like, vinyl albums, like, I don't know, Wings Over America, or even Go to Soup, you know, and it came with, like, the insert, like, it came with a poster. Back in those days, you know, like, Wings Over America, threw that poster right up on my wall, put the pin things up on the wall, totally destroying... You know, the poster, the edges of the poster. My original Goat's Head Soup, you know, insert with the goats. You know, I stuck that on my wall with the pinholes. Uh, it was only later on that, you know, we start getting these things and we would never, ever think of, like, taking the stuff out of the box and putting it on the wall. Or this is a bumper sticker. Like, I wouldn't put that on a car because then the box is not going to be complete anymore. Um but I got all these beautiful boxes with all these cool inserts, and they, the inserts are just sitting in there. And then one day I'm going to die. My wife's going to just donate it <laughs> to the charity shop for free or sell it to a local record store for a dollar. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like the stuff becomes precious, but at the same time, it just sits in the box. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Anyway, so there you go. There is the Super Deluxe uh, unboxing of Hackney Diamonds. Um it looks nice. You know, it's okay. Um, listen, I buy the Stone Super Deluxes. I'm never overly impressed with them. What do I call them? I said they're, they're more uh, sizzle than steak. You know, like when you think of the Jethro Tull boxes or these monstrous Who boxes up there, you get a lot more material of substance, uh, at least musically, you know. But, you know, so you got the CD and you got the uh, DVD with the Atmos mix. I'm really looking forward to that because I do have a 5.1 system. So we will see how it sounds. I was not overwhelmed with the Goat's Head Soup one. The, the Atmos mix, who did that? Giles Martin? I, I didn't think it was all that good. So we'll see. Uh, but there you go, my first unboxing of uh, Hackney Diamonds, a Super Deluxe Edition. If you have it and you've listened to it, let me know what you think. I'll be checking it out uh, this weekend and trying to show you what I got. And then my son could get the uh, Amazon, which just came Wednesday of the regular CD. And hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully the sales will start picking up uh, in America. Man, I really wish they would have gotten a number one album. Such a bummer. But anyway, great numbers in the rest of the world. So uh, that's that. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time on The Alan Rosenberg Show.